Yo, what's going on guys? It is time for another reaction video. And today I'm gonna be getting into something else from Rin, but this one is from The Big Push. And so what I've gathered from the comments from you guys is that uh, Rin is, or formerly was, I don't really know which, um, part of a band called The Big Push. Um, and this is a video from them that I'm gonna check out. Uh, I Shot the Sheriff, Road to Zion, and Hip Hop. Um, so it sounds like maybe it's a mashup or maybe they're going to do three tracks or something. I don't know. Let's get straight into it and see. Man, you can tell he's feeling that guitar. It's like he's connected to it. Yes, it all around. In my hometown. <laughs> Rin, 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 Rin. Man, I've heard you rap. I've heard you sing. Uh, I was introduced to you from Hyrun, so I've seen some polarizing content that was more of like a production or a show more than just a song. Um, I heard you do an Elvis cover, and now we're into reggae. This dude knows no boundaries when it comes to music. And I mean that as a compliment, like I saw the song title, I shot the sheriff, but you know, like, man, we're only a few, few, we're barely into it. But just like when I watched high Ren and I didn't know what to expect, uh, this is much more than I was expecting. This is, this is already off to a good start. Yes, if for a mother of a deputy, said for a life of a deputy. The range of his vocals is crazy, man. Because on the high run, where he's like, oh, ooh, 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 you know, like you can hear a pretty big range in that. Um, and then some of the other things I've heard him do so far they didn't they didn't really stretch his vocals as much this is like really showing his vocal range more than anything so far that i've seen from him but i said I said, Sheriff John Brown, that man hated me. For what? I just don't know. It's crazy how his accent just disappears in this song. Like, he's got a, in my opinion, a pretty thick accent. And like, when I first watched uh, High Ren, I can still remember that, like, I had to listen really closely sometimes on some of the things he was saying because his accent was so thick that I was kind of having a hard time making out the words and same for some of his other songs. But it's like here, it's as if his accent doesn't even exist. He completely replaced his accent with like a, a reggae Rastafarian accent. And so far the band is also really impressive. It's like they all just seem completely in tune with one another. They're kind of following his lead on, on uh, the pacing but um but they're just all like in tune with each other without even having to speak they just 
they just know each other's rhythm and style. Whenever I would try to plan in the sea, he would say, kill it before it grow. Man, that dude's jamming too, man. Like all, of, tell me in the comments, man. Let me know if they're still together because uh, these guys are impressive, and and I have a whole lot of their songs lined up to to react to. But man, I'm feeling this. In this world of calamity, dirty looks and grudges and jealousy. Media clowns, them on a beauty and they put up with them. Media clowns, they're not for loving, but they're not for fighting. Boom. The young trend said to come on, more the damn slow. When I bust a trick a finger like bam bam it the do. When I bust a trick a finger, come on, man, here we go. Press on in the nana, here we go. Got to keep it moving. I'm the road to Zion. Got to keep it burning. I'm the road to Zion. Tell me too, guys, where are they performing this right now? My guess is this is probably pre-COVID days. Well, it's only a year ago, so maybe not. Uh, where are they performing? And is this something that takes place on a regular basis or only on the weekends? Or is it just like some special event? Uh, and if myself as a tourist were to come visit wherever this is, would it be pretty common stance to be able to just walk up and find this uh, at random? Not necessarily Ren, but just any street performers busking. Let me know. That was a cool little uh, upbeat section they threw in there. I liked that, man. It, it like it sounded like a familiar tune to me, but I couldn't quite place it. But it's it it takes me to like maybe late '90s or early 2000s or something. That little riff they had going in the middle there, and it was kind of like that fast upbeat. That was I, I really liked that, man. Let's take it. Let's take it down, 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 down
keep it going, keep it going. Time post up. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Hip is still bigger than a hip hop, hip hop, hip. Are they about to go into freaking? Oh God, what's the name of that group? Dead Press? Is that it? Anybody who knows, tell me if I'm getting that right. Dead Prez, hip hop. Well, I guess we'll find out. Let's see. That's definitely where he's going, but tell me if I'm right. Is it Dead Prez? And if it is, I, have, I probably haven't heard that song in like 20 years, man. Hip still bigger than a hip. That was a nice mashup, man. They're making me miss, you know, live music so much. I've, I've Pre-COVID, I used to go to a lot of live music festivals, all that stuff. After COVID, I've only been to a few, and the few I've been to have just been kind of mediocre shows, you know. Um, I miss, man, I just miss being out in a, in a crowd like this and just, like, vibing with the people around you and just really consuming and feeling the music. And, like, ah, man, I, I would love to be at a performance like this. When my poor folks got the millions on my woman's disrespected If you check one to my word of advice to you, just relax If that don't work, then do what you got to do And kick the facts if you a liar, liar, boost, cryer, bush, cryer Agent with the wire, I'ma know it when I play it But then if you a liar, liar, mouth on cryer, pants on fire Agent with the wire, I'ma know it when I play it It's bigger than a hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip It's still bigger than a hip That was awesome, dude. I love that so much. Uh, whoever told me to start checking out Ren, man, I really appreciate it. I've been enjoying uh, reacting and listening to his music. It's it's tough because like, what I would usually do is in the first day I listened to the first song, I would have typically gone through like every imaginable song and video I could find about Ren and, and just listen to it all in one night. Um, but since I'm trying to do reactions to it, I've been having to force myself to, to not do that and um, just hold out until I can do these reactions. And so I think with Ren and Big Push combined, there's probably about like 40 videos or 40 tracks that I'm going to react to. And I think maybe I'm like five or seven in, maybe eight. Um, so I'm anxious to just like burn through it and just go down the whole rabbit hole and just like listen to every bit of it. But uh, but I'm holding back because I want to I want to do it so that I can do it as a reaction and experience it and share it with you guys. So if you're enjoying this and you're new here and you're liking the Ren reactions, make sure to subscribe because I got a lot more on the way. Uh, click the bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a video. Give this one a thumbs up if you liked it. It does help. And comment below if you have a favorite song by Ren uh, or Big or the Big Push. Um, and yeah, let me know how you discovered my YouTube channel and where in the world you are watching me from. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.